hey beauties and welcome back to my channel um today i'm doing a video a little bit differently um i'm just gonna give a few words of encouragement before i start my story time um i just want all of you out there to know that you can do anything you put your mind to do not allow any family members, whether it be your parents, brothers, sisters, aunt, uncles, like, you know, friends from around the way, people you went to school with, people at your job tell you what you cannot do. A lot of people, a lot of times, will try to put you inside of a box and tell you what you can't do or what you should be doing based on society's standards and society's requirements. For a long time, I was afraid to actually start a youtube channel because i thought how would it look in corporate america being an african-american woman trying to move forward what if my co-workers found out what if my bosses you know um saw what i was doing and um i had this fear for a long time i've been in corporate since 2012 i graduated college in 2011 2011 i was like a teacher i guess it's a professional job but um, I did, I got into finance in 2012 and now I am in the insurance industry and I just, in my mind, it was, you know, I didn't want to be judged. I wanted to be taken seriously. If my coworkers or bosses saw something like this, would I be eligible for a promotion? Would I be able to do this or be able to do that? But my dreams are far more bigger than sitting behind a desk. And so if you know that you have something inside of you, a skill, something that you love to do, a business plan or business goal or whatever um, you're great at, if you plan to turn that into a business, go ahead and do it. I would say do it with class, um, give your very best at it. So even if it doesn't take off like you wanted to in the beginning, it may take five or ten years you'll get there don't let anyone discourage you don't let any position that you're in hinder you um and don't listen to the naysayers there'll be times where you'll have to um what would i say there may be times where you might feel alone or it may feel like you know it's delayed gratification you may not see any results you know immediately but the best results are the results that you take time and you do your research and you work hard for nothing comes easy and anything that comes quick doesn't really last long and so you don't want to be a gimmick you want to put your all into your business or into your craft or whatever you want to do take that leap of faith take that jump be smart about it make sure you save make sure you have the right people in your corner um Make sure you research and make sure you are the best at what you do. That nobody can defy your talent or deny your talent. Um, that will be my words of inspiration for anyone who is interested in starting um, some type of business venture. Or who wants to excel in whatever craft that you would like to excel in. Now, on to the story time. So I moved down here in 2012. My cousin doesn't even know this. <laughs> so I live with my cousin and his wife and their little son. Um, it was hard for me to make friends in the beginning because, you know, I'm an adult. I didn't graduated from college already. You know, I had little to almost no sources at the time. Not sources, but like resources of friends. Besides my sorority and at that time, I didn't join a graduate chapter. But anyway, anyway, so I joined this dating app <laughs> I knew nothing about. It was called Plenty of Fish. Why did I do that? And where was Max and Eve? Was that show even out back then? Because I love Catfish now, but after this date, I never got back on that website. I couldn't believe it. But anyway, so you know, I'm working. At my corporate office, I'm really, really young. I'm about 22 or 23 years old. And I'm not really going out much because I don't have people to go out with. And I want to be, you know, safe. My cousin, he's a married man. So he's not going to be up in the clubs with me. And most times me and my cousin were together. You know, we don't look alike. So people thought we were together. 
we went to the car dealership together and they was like, oh, that's your wife? He's like, no, no, that's my cousin. So whenever we were together, people thought we were together. So I couldn't go out with him anyway because people would think that that was my man. So I get on this website called Plenty of Fish. You know, so I'm talking to this guy, talking to this guy, talking to this guy. Like we're talking via message, whatever you want to call it, for about like a week or two. Then we decide to exchange numbers. So, you know, we're talking, you know, over the phone and I'm looking at his pictures. He looks really corporate, tall, dark, handsome, nice low cut, beautiful smile, nice physique. You know, all of the good things that, you know, a woman would want in a man. And he's corporate. He claims that he's like at the top of his chain and his job, honey, all of that. So, you know, we're talking. I even have his job number. I'm calling him at work, you know, on my lunch breaks. Like, everything's good. So, he tells me, oh, meet me at the U-Bar, which is, was Ultimate Bar and Grill back then. Meet me at the U-Bar. I've never been to the U-Bar. Anybody who lives in Atlanta, y'all know the U-Bar off Camp Creek. That's where we were. The U-Bar off of Camp Creek. So he's like, yeah, you know, meet me there after work and we can get some drinks. And I remember it was on a Tuesday because it was $2 Tuesday. And he, I guess he thought I was a cheap date, but I was young and I was new to the area. So I didn't know what the hell the U-Bar was. I was just going. So I go home after work. I take my little business clothes off because, you know, we had to be business professional and all of that at work because I work for a corporate company honey I took my business clothes off I did my little makeup up you know I had a little cute you know outfit on put a little cute fit on and all of that like yeah <laughs> okay so I'm driving to the U-Bar and this time I'm living like south 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 side I live in Hampton, Georgia. Hampton, Georgia is past Jonesboro. So if y'all down here from Clayco or y'all know Atlanta, y'all know Hampton is far as fuck. So I'm driving. I'm on my way to the U-Bar or whatever. And it's popping. It's cars everywhere. Everywhere. Like people park in the fucking uh, drive through for the bank. And they keep their cars there all fucking night. They park in a hotel and they bitches get told. <laughs> and it's just like, I don't know, this shit is just wild. I haven't been to the U-Bar in a while, but it's a lit time. It's a bit ratchet, but if you want to be a little ratchet, you know, do hood rat things with your friends, go to the U-Bar, ladies, and you'll have a good ratchet ass time. But anyway, so um, I get there. I pull up. You know, and my, I got a, a trap car. Nice. It was a, a new trap car. Pull up in my, my new, it was 2012 and 2011. Pull up in my new trap car, right? <laughs> Let me stop. But anyway, I pull up in my car and I'm like, um, I don't see you. Where are you? He's like, I'm right here. And it was nowhere to park. He was like, I'll find you somewhere to park. I said, but I don't see you. Where are you? You know, like, where are you? I don't see you. And he's like, I'm right here. And I'm like, right where? And I'm looking around. This shit is crazy. I can't make this shit up. He's like, I'm right here. <coughs> so I look, I said, where? Like, wave your hand. He waved his hand. I almost crashed my fucking car. This guy was not who he said he was at all. Huh? I almost had a heart attack because number one, I was never into like the online thing or whatever. I thought that was like a weird thing to me. And you know, I didn't even really tell anybody that I tr I was trying this online dating thing cause it was embarrassing. You know, like I was used to meeting people out in the world. But for me being so new to Atlanta or to Georgia, I didn't know how I would meet people when I didn't have like girlfriends to go out with. Honey, I seen him. And I don't know what the hell he looked like. Boy, if you but it almost caused me to crash my motherfucking car. I shouldn't even be cursing on my channel like this, but listen. So I'm like, whoa. 
So I find some type of illegal park and I probably parked at the hotel across the street. I think it's like the hill or something. I'm probably illegally parked over there or something. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to push through this date. I'm going to push through this date. So I, Jesus, I walked through the U-bar with him. Everybody stared at us like, we were like some type of oxymoron because we didn't match. And I'm going to get to his description in a minute. So everybody's looking and I'm feeling embarrassed because I'm like, oh my God, like I'm coming in here with him. Like, oh my God, like people going to see me with him. I don't even know nobody in this motherfucker. But at the same time, I did not want people to think that we were together. Because I'm like, what if I run into, you know, these people another time? So chat. We in a U-bar. I tell him, um, well, can we go somewhere else? And he's like, well, there's um, JR Crickets across the street. So I said, okay, cool. Because maybe the atmosphere is a little different. But it was too many young people like around my age, 22, 23, you know, that was in there. And I just, I couldn't be looking crazy. Like, y'all ever felt like, you know, somebody just don't match your flower? Have you ever been catfished? Like, or somebody tried to put you on a blind date and you just like, this nigga don't match me or this female, she don't match me. So you feeling crazy and it's awkward. How do I get out of this? So I wanted to be like a good Samaritan or whatever because I knew I was going to talk to this nigga after the whole thing was over. But anyway, I go across the street. We go across the street to JR Crickets and... um I almost crashed my car again trying to park because that's how fucked up like in my mind I'm like who is this man his voice sound the same and everything I'm about to describe him now online he posted this guy that was like six feet brown skin low cut a decent build. When I mean decent, he wasn't fat or anything. Like he had like a little definition in his body, but not too cut up. Corporate man, nice looking man. I had to pull the picture up on POF and look at the picture and look at him and look at the picture and look at him. And that wasn't him. And in my mind, I had, I tried to think, did he gain weight? Because people look different when they gain weight. What happened? He studied ramming. I couldn't get a word in. And I couldn't get a word in because he knew that he wasn't the person that he said he was. So I just couldn't hold it in. I ordered my food or whatever. He was trying to get me drinks. Like, drink up, drink up or whatever. Drink up, drink up, drink up. Anyway. And so I just had to tell him, I'm like, you don't look the same. And he tells me. Oh, I didn't get a haircut. Bro, no, the, the haircut ain't going to change who this man is and who you are. Who are you? He's like, that's me. He was chubby. Not even chubby. That nigga was fat. He had the dingiest polo shirt on. It was supposed to be like sky blue. But you could look on the neck part. It was like dirt from his neck. And it just looked like it wasn't washed. Like he just ironed it. And then he had some beat up jeans on with some, it looked like he had some old Deodoras. They were like beat up. And his hair was like curly, but it wasn't like well groomed. He didn't really have no facial hair. He was not the man that was on that picture. So I started getting afraid because I'm like, in my mind, like I said, I don't do on day. So I'm like, is he a mass murderer? Are you a killer? Like, what do you do? So I'm appalled because he's like, oh, that's me. That's me. I hold my phone up. I said, that ain't you. That ain't, that ain't you. Oh, that's me. That's me. And then he keeps talking and talking. Then he's trying to tell the witches to bring me margarita so I can drink. When I first meet a guy, if I don't know you, nine times out of ten, I'm not going to have a drink. If I do have a drink, I'll have one drink because I'm going to drive myself home. And most times, I don't let men pick me up. If I let you pick me up, that means that I've known you for a while or we have a bunch of mutual friends that know who you are. 
And so I don't let men just come pick me up. So he didn't know where I lived. And I wasn't going to be drinking and driving from Camp Creek to Hampton. So he's still talking like he's ramming. Da -da 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 -da. And I'm like, I just, I'm stuck because I cannot believe him. Like he was, I'm not going to say he was big, black, and ugly as ever. However, he was not that man. He was not attractive at all. Then he kept talking, he's like, oh, you can just stay the night at my house. I live right down the street. And I'm thinking this nigga must got people in his basement. If he think I'm stupid enough to get drunk and stay at his house, I don't know who's at your house. I'm from Philly. I remember a young girl stayed at her boyfriend's house. Her boyfriend left to go to the store. His roommate raped her, chopped her body up, and put her in the lot down the street from my house that I walked past to get to my best friend's house. And you think I'm going to go to your house? You're not even who you say you are, number one. Number two, I don't know you, creep. So I was like, let me just get out of here a lot because this nigga might pull out a gun and start shooting because at this point, this is crazy. So whew, I just get my food. He was like, yeah, you want anything else? Da, da, da. So I start ordering a whole bunch of stuff because I'm like, I ain't going to see him again anyway. So I just ordered the whole fucking kitchen. And I just took that shit home. You wasted my time. I'm going to waste your money. So I'm going to take this home for lunch tomorrow. Because I can't believe this shit. You got me out on a work night. And you want to waste my time? Because you're not who you say you are. You talking all this shit. Trying to get me to come to your fucking house? Never. So he was hot. He was like a hot tamale. Because he really thought he was going to get me to his house. I'm smarter than that, boo. I'm from Philly. I don't know who you are used to talking to, but it's not me. So I get in my car, and when I'm away from him, I call him back and tell him that I was going to report his page before I shut mine down. I was like, yeah, I'm going to report your page. I'm going to pray for you because you really need fucking help because that is not you. Well, I tell you, I was speeding on 285, and 285 is the highway where Shorty Lowe died when he flew out the car. Them curves is like sharp, and I was fucking speeding because I couldn't believe that I got catfished like that. This guy, like, he was nasty, sloppy, dirty looking. I'm like, do you even do what you say you did? Because who are you? And who photos did you steal? I asked him that. I said, you stealing people photos and posting them up? Does this man even know that you're stealing his identity? Like, does he even know? Where was Max and Eve at this time? Because I wish they was the fuck there before I could have wasted my time and went out there. I wish back then, I don't even think FaceTime and all that video stuff was really popping. And I wish that was out because I wouldn't have wasted my time driving my ass to the U-Bar to run into this nigga. It was crazy. And he was mad. He was like, yeah, well, fuck you. da 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 Da, da, da. And I'm like, you rah, rah with me, nigga. You need to be mad at you because you ain't happy with who you are. You need to wash that dirty ass shirt, go for a few runs, go on a fucking diet, cut your fucking hair, and stop acting like somebody that you're not. The sad part is, you're actually from here, so you say, and you can't meet people. Nigga, I just moved here. I don't go out. It's the difference between me and you. And you're a creep. And because creeps like you are on POF, <coughs> females like me will never get back on that bitch. So after that, I told myself, I said, I'm not fucking with this shit no more. You know, like, I've tried, this guy is, he's crazy as fuck, you know, like, he's, he's crazy. He's really, really, he's really crazy. And he wanted to cuss me out, yeah, you bitch, and you this, and you that, and all of that. And I'm like, you mad at me, because you ain't who you say you are? You need to pray to God, you need Jesus, honey, you need some holy water, you need something. Like, you need motherfucking something. And that's not even, listen, I done ran into a lot of clowns here in Georgia. A lot of crazy people, a lot of all kinds of things. Like, it's all kinds of types of people and stuff down here, honey. 
but I just wanted to tell my story. Ladies, I do not suggest that you get on POF. I do not suggest that. Like, if you have not seen Catfish, don't get on that. All that site is is a site for people to kidnap people and to try to sleep with you and do whatever. That is not a safe site. Don't ever get on that dating website. And after that situation, I never got back on that website. I couldn't believe I got on that bullshit. I'm like, what the fuck? Then later on in life, somebody told me, like, POF is a fucking website. Like, people go on there and try to have sex and, you know, try to do this and try to do that. And I was like, wow, you know. Um, because, again, I didn't know anything about it. Like, I didn't know what Tinder was until, like, 2015. One of my coworkers was laughing at me because... I didn't do dating websites like I was used to meeting people like in the street, meeting people at school, meeting people in my social circles, like doing stuff like that. And um, after that, that's what I, I did. Like I was meeting people like within my social circles, you know, a lot of Greek guys, of course, but you know, like that online shit is for the birds. That POF, what? No. So... Yeah, that's my story, and um, I just wanted to give it to y'all raw and tell y'all, if y'all like story times, let me know. I'm trying a lot of different things with my channel. Um, I'm trying to get you guys to get to know me better. And so, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you've ever been catfished. Let me know what dating websites you've used before. Um, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so we can be family. And so you can be updated whenever I have a new video that comes out. Thank you so much for watching. And you beautiful people, enjoy your week. Bye.